Sunday. 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 Football is back, baby. All right, it's time. Another chance to show the world that American football can be a global sport. We have another game in Germany. You know, this could be a lot of people's first time watching an NFL game. Let me check the matchup real quick. What's the game the NFL thinks people want to see? Colts Patriots. Oh God, I'm sorry you have to watch that. I would just like to let it be known that Deshaun Watson is getting paid the most guaranteed money in NFL history to be slightly better than Gardner Minshew. The Browns defense is one of the best in the league in almost every metric, which really makes you question their decision to overpay for Deshaun Watson. Baker Mayfield would be doing fantastic in this system and he wouldn't cost you $280 million guaranteed. The Browns only have four above 500 teams left on their schedule, and one of them is the Steelers. And boy, oh boy, do I have a lot to say about the Steelers. The Steelers are five and three. The Steelers have been outgained 790 yards and outscored by 30 points, but the Steelers are five and three. The Steelers are 31st in yards allowed per game. Their defense is one of the worst, yet they don't allow touchdowns. The Steelers are 28th in yards per game. They're one of the worst, yet the Steelers are five and three. George Pickens wants to talk about how the Jags have a hope defense. Motherfucker, this My Little Pony ass team is held together by friendship and prayers. Man, what is wrong with the 49ers? I think for the first time in this show, I'm gonna have to do some research. Hmm. There's no way the Debo Samuel injury hurts them that much. It's gotta be Trent Williams. I mean, he's only allowed two sacks in the past three years. It's gotta be pretty hard to replace that guy. And the entire time Brock Purdy's been developing, he's had Trent Williams. Mm, nope, looks like the guy replacing him, Jalen Moore, has been just as good. In fact, once Trent Williams is back, they're probably going to put Jalen Moore at right tackle and have an even better line. Wait a second, I think I figured it out. Brock Purdy just outrushed Christian McCaffrey. Huh? Well, Vikings fans, looks like Big Kirko is going to be out for the season. At least you still have a rookie quarterback in Jaron Hall. Maybe he's good. Oh, he doesn't look that bad. And he's injured. Who's up next? Josh Dobbs, you got here five days ago. Put him in. It's probably fine. Wait a second. If anybody could learn the play calls mid-game, it's Josh Dobbs. Well, this whole quarterbacking thing is pretty hard, but it's not rocket science. But I, I don't want to talk about the Texans. CJ Stroud just beat the rookie passing yards record. You will talk about the Texans. But I, I don't want to. Well then, you're going to have to talk about the Bengals, and you don't want to relive that game, do you? Oh god, no anything but that. Then talk about the Texans. Fine. Here we go. <gasps> the Titans have the easiest offensive game plan in the league. On run plays, you give the ball to Derrick Henry. On passing plays, you give the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know why they're going out there and making up fake players. Like, who the fuck is Kyle Phillips? Oh god. What if Ninja was right? Well, then that means... The Chargers are going to go on a game-winning drive and lose in heartbreaking fashion again. The more I think about it, the Chargers are just the AFC version of the Cowboys. Alright, I think the Clayton Tune experiment is over forever. Not only was there a whopping zero points scored, the whole offense managed 1.2 yards per play. If the Browns didn't commit penalties, there likely wouldn't be a single first down by the Cardinals. The Cardinals had a whopping 58 yards of total offense. They almost had more penalty yards than total yards. 
Okay, that game was painful, but at least Daniel Jones is back. Oh, they put Tommy DeVito out there again. Oh, he had more interceptions than completions for like a half. You have Matt Barkley on the roster, why did you put him in? There's no way he's worse than this. Uh... Washington football team. Look, the 49ers are sliding. This is the perfect time for the Seahawks to take the division. You have to play the Ravens, but if you want to win the Super Bowl, you gotta beat good teams. Geno Smith, now's your chance to prove that you're really him. And you scored three points. I mean, what did I really expect? You know, I'm looking at Sam Howell's numbers, and I'm wondering, he's really good. Why doesn't the media talk about him more? Then I realize he's doing this against the 2-7 Patriots team, and he almost lost. And it all starts making sense. And finally, the game everybody's excited for, Sunday Night Football. This is the game the league wants you to see. Here we go, it's... Another week, another game of Zach Wilson football. Let's check on Aaron Rodgers. Maybe he'll be okay next season. Wait, what? Jets QB says he could return by Christmas? He's 40 years old. There's no way he can recover that quickly. How is he doing it? I have to do more research. Oh, Aaron Rodgers says he brought tequila, not a bong, to the Jets game. I think I figured out how he's recovering so quickly. Massive amount of drug use. Kids, do drugs.